shall see heaven open and the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man hallelujah hallelujah forget that neighbor look at the other neighbor we are batting faith in somebody hallelujah tell them one two three go he says what and he said to him uh -huh, most assuredly i say to you uh -huh, hereafter you shall see i want you to look for another and tell them neighbor you shall see I want you to look for another and tell them, neighbor, you shall see the heavens open hereafter. Praise the name of the Lord. 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 Of the Lord. Tell that neighbor again, neighbor, you shall be a witness for you shall see the heavens open. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. One of the things I want to say that we are being ushered into a space as Kenya. We are entering a space where the miraculous is about to be no more. Uh, I don't know if you hear me. We have started entering a territory where the miraculous will be no more. Uh, I'm tired of just men of God doing miracles. There are young men today here. <laughs> Because the Bible is not telling me anything else. He said, you shall see the heavens open. I don't know if you understand me. Now the context is, there is a man by the name Nathaniel. And this man has been brought by Philip to Jesus. And this man was a critic. And he began to ask, can anything good come from Nazareth? Praise the name of the Lord. So what does that mean? There are quarters that never look like that will produce particular kind of things. But But we are now today talking to men from villages that are going to begin to walk in the miraculous. We are talking from men that are coming in territories that are not yet qualified according to the standards of men. But I came to announce in the name of Jesus that there is a hereafter. A hereafter is a statement of the shifting, a shifting of season. It is a statement whereby uh, that was there has ended. What is now has begun. Begin to look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I'm excited about your future because I know hereafter you shall see the heavens open. And so Nathaniel is coming in. Hey, can anything good come from Nazareth? And when he arrives, Jesus begins to say, A pure Nazareth, a pure Israelite. This one I have seen in one that there is no kill. Why? Because I saw you under, under the fig tree. That statement is a statement of meditation. Because Israelites used to read the word under the fig tree. And anyone that was found at such an hour under the fig tree was a man of transaction. And so Jesus is saying, when you are under the fig tree, you never saw me. <laughs> Uh, but I saw you. I don't know if you hear me, people of God. You are in another gathering of champions, but I was there. You may have never seen me, but I saw you. And he tells Nathaniel, I saw you under the fig tree. And after he says that, Nathaniel says, you are the savior of the world. And that's why Jesus said, is it because I told you that I saw you that you believe? And he told them, you know what Jesus has said and said, because I said to you that I saw you under the fig tree do you now believe and he tells them you shall see greater things than this tell your neighbor greater things are coming greater things are coming I come to bust up somebody's expectation even in this meeting today because there are greater things than these we are moving from mere sight we are moving 
from mere visions to actualization and implementation. Can I say something radical? Young men are not tools to just carry prophecies and amount to nothing. You must manifest in the name of Jesus. We can't keep saying about you being great and all we tell you is that you will be. May your being begin to come because Nathaniel was a man of the world but he had never encountered the person of the world and now he says I have seen you I have seen you but the Bible tells me Jesus said you I want to tell you most assuredly you shall see the heavens open because you may have been studying but your heavens were closed you may have been doing service but your heavens were closed but we are now singing in the name of Jesus we have come to another space no more meetings under closed heavens ah, no more sermons under closed heavens no more praise and worship under closed heavens no more moving under closed heavens because there are things we have been missing angels in our midst ascending and descending I, I, I announce in the name of Jesus may this be the service you have never been to may this be the time where you will experience things you have never done I want you to open up your mouth I want you to open up your mouth and say Lord today I have an expectation may my heavens open let my heavens open let my heavens open let my heavens open let my heavens open I don't know if you hear me right now let my heavens open let my heavens open may my heavens open I got to see my heavens open let them open tonight somebody you got a few more minutes begin to announce in the name of Jesus that my heavens are opening my heavens are opening I'm not here for a normal service. I'm here for an encounter. I'm here for an encounter. I'm here for nothing. Calebra Gazia. Nothing but the presence of the Lord. I came for I know. My life can never be the same again. Open up your mouth again and say, Lord, let the heavens open. Let the heavens open. Ah, the prophet Kaliara. Listen to me. I want you to see something here. And the Bible repeats something that is quite clear. It says, When the heavens open, you shall see. Okay. Now, when you go to Ezekiel 1 1, it is when the heavens open that visions are activated. Okay. Your sight is dependent on the heavens. People of God. We walk blind because we walk under our own, you know, our own power to do things. People of God, it's not always about how strong you are in prayer. It is, can you be sensitive in the spirit? You can even fail to pray and the heavens open up above you. But the point is, are you in tune with the frequency of that time? What was happening is that this is not the first time that this matter is being handled. You see, Ezekiel said that it was that point in River Cheva, they are the second people to come out of captivity, to come to, sorry, to be taken to captivity by Babylon. But at that point, there was opportunity to even see visions. Men and people of God, we are in church. Nobody is persecuting us here. But what is happening to our lives, we are in a better place to see things in the realm of the spirit. Listen to me. We are entering a space of the miraculous, but God cannot move with everyone. He needs men that can see. He needs men that can see. There are things that can never happen because of how we are spiritually blind. Because we are taken over by what we see physically. Today, it is not about what you see physically. It is about what you see in the spirit. Hallelujah. And Bible says, you opened and opened and I saw vision of God. Now go back to my scripture in John chapter number 1 verse number 51. This is what he told him, that you shall see angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The next time you see such a statement is Genesis 28 verse number 12. Look at Genesis 28 because they cannot be a repetition for nothing. Here he says there is an ascending and a descending. But now here, what the Bible says, and then he, then he dreamed and behold, a ladder was set up. Now Jacob saw a ladder. And upon and up on the earth. And its top reached the heaven. And there the angels of God did what? Were ascending and descending. People of God, someone in the Old Testament put his head on the altar 
and at immediately there was a ladder. Another man, huh, praise the name of the Lord. Another man is being promised that we have to visit, to revisit some areas. To Jacob, you will see a ladder. To this man, to this time, it's no longer a ladder. It is the son of man. <laughs> so that ladder is Jesus. That there is a point that makes you legally trans... You know, you are a legal pathway of transaction on earth because of a ladder called Jesus Christ. Now, this Jesus Christ is no longer an entity outside of you. He lives with you. I don't know if you hear me. I don't know if you hear me. Now, that is what makes men potent. So, heavens don't open just because you are a man. But do you carry the ladder that reaches the heaven? There is a pathway you can establish for yourself. And do you know what the point is? The order is ascending then descending. Meaning there is no angel that will descend first. The angel only ascends first. So who is the angel ascending? Ah, ah, Who is the angel ascending? That is the angel that carries in the, our, our intercessory as incense. Our prayers that are being taken to heaven. So heaven never responds first. Heaven responds after a man activates. Listen to me, your heaven can remain closed because you don't, know, you don't understand that you carry the key to open it. I announce in the name of Jesus. Uh, listen to me, people of God. Nobody is responsible for your breakthrough. Nobody is responsible for your heavens. You are the one that has to put that angel on motion. And even before we can worship the Lord tonight, because we are doing that in the next one minute, I want you to begin to announce, may my heavens open. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you hear me. If my people which are called for my name shall humble themselves and pray then my heaven shall open and I shall heal their land. There is a practice that men have to come up with. There is a way we need to learn because there has to be an ascension before there is a dissension. There has to be an ascension before there is a blessing. There has to be a man that is rising before there can be something that descending. Atmospheres are products of men. Begin to open up your mouth and begin to release it. Begin to open up your mouth. You only have one more minute and begin to say, Lord, Open me up to the reality that is about to come. Open me up. I am gonna get him up. Open up your mouth and speak in tongues, whatever you are. And say, Lord, let there be an ascension. Because this ascension will lead to a dissension. And black as I am. Sepetekezebeketeba. Radakazova getebe. Ebrakaseketelebele. Abrakosa katebagade. Ebrakasita basaya. Abrakete balaga to lage, isha tele brakete kete, abrakuda basake kete, akatele brakida kete, abrasada kaza, ilaba kete beleka, radeba kosa taka, kata kata kata. Come on, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Begin to rally in the spirit. Le brakete kete, rapakata, makaza kete, abrakete kete. Before there is a descending. There is first an ascending. Ha, la, 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 ba, ya, Your heavens must begin to open. You are not circumstantial. You are spiritual. Kebra Gadela. Shadabara Gadaboya. You are not circumstantial. You are spiritual. You don't pray when it is okay. You pray because you are spiritual. You don't arise when you feel like it. It is your function. Ha. Sebagatayaga, Sada Bagateva, Ebra Gatola, Makazida Bear, Eba Legretel, Ebra Gaya Barilla, Abba Zere, Seba, 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 Tabre Gatara, Seba, 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 Legatulia, Makatelia, Mana, Mana, Tepeka de Gelege, Meke. Make it ah, let it open over your life. Make it ever, make it, make it, make it. Ah, broke it, let it be. Make it, let it be, let it be. Make it, let it be, let it be. It is opening. It is opening. It 
please open it. Say it again. Open up a bucket. Shakata by Somebody worship the Lord wherever you are. Begin to give him a worship. Begin to adore him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was happy when they told me, let us go into the house of the Lord. David says, that all the days of my life, I want to dwell. Oh, in your presence, I want to seek you in this holy place. Somebody lift up your voices. In the day King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Things have left your life. Convenience is gone. Now enter another realm. Father, we worship you. This evening, we call you faithful. Wewe ni mwamini funyakati zote. Hakuna alie kama wewe, Jehovah. Wewe siyo kama mwanadamu. Wewe siyo kama binadamu ya yote. Waminifu wako hauna kifani Baba wewe ni waminifu Oh, shalabosha tayana lalabosa Thank you Lord for your faithfulness Your faithfulness never fails Tunakuwa budu mwana Tuna kuabudu chioni ya leo Nina kuabudu masia Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Jehova Tala mama satea ne Somebody lift your hands unto God and worship him For his faithfulness, thank him for his faithfulness For his unfailing love we are, here, we are here today because of your faithfulness, O oh God. We are alive today because of your faithfulness, O oh God. We call you faith.
open your mouth and worship Yahweh. Worship Him. He is faithful. God, you are faithful.
David said that even though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for I know that you are with me. Tell your neighbor, God is with me. He's right here, right now. And so I want you to sing. Oh 
somebody put your hands together with Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, we are here for an encounter. Hallelujah. Ask them, what are you looking for? We are here for an encounter. Amen. How many are ready today? How many are ready today? Hallelujah. I want us to look at one scripture in the book of Luke. Luke chapter number 24 and verse number 32. And at that point, we'll be ready. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And this is just what I want to bring out to you. And the Bible says this. And they said to one another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road, while he opened the scriptures to us? Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, it's not just another normal session. At the unfolding of scriptures, let there be something that will burn within you. Hallelujah. Look for the other neighbor. Forget that one. They are too uptight. Look for a radical person and tell them, neighbor, may your heart burn within you today. This particular evening, by the unfolding of scriptures. Listen at verse number 33. This is what the Bible says. It says that, and so they rose up that very hour and they return back to Jerusalem. I announce in the mighty name of Jesus, there are things we may have lost in the past, but we are going back to our positions in the name of Jesus. Many are going back to the anointings in the name of Jesus. Some are coming to another territory in the name of Jesus. There is no one. Listen, we call it a revival because we need to awaken something that had died in you a time back. I announce that there will be a rising up out of that morning into the Kolebra Gayama where the Lord wants you to go back tell your neighbor there is a rising up by the unfolding of scripture tonight and they went back and they gathered and they began to witness and they said that the Lord has risen they said that the Lord has risen the gospel is nothing without his resurrection and I came to say in the mighty name of Jesus something is about to resurrect in somebody's life in the mighty name of Jesus put your hands together and begin to celebrate Jesus hallelujah tell your neighbor you need to be sensitive tell them you need to be sensitive and I want to say it again I feel like even as a country we have entered into a territory of the miraculous ah, I announce in the name of Jesus may the heavens continually open up above you and let there be nothing that is going to stop you tonight in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray and somebody say Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah uh, Tell your neighbor Neighbor Greetings from our Father We are international I told you last time Hallelujah Tell your neighbor You need to start speaking with a clicking sound We are in South Africa right now uh, Hallelujah Tell your neighbor we are international and so the man of God loves us so much and he sends his greetings. But tell your neighbor he did not leave us alone. Uh, tell your neighbor he did not leave us alone. Our apostolic father is in the house. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And I don't have anything else to add. Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? Gathering of champions, put your hands together and help me welcome on stage Apostle David Juma. Give me praise. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Wow. Let's give Jesus praise! Hallelujah! The Lord bless you, man of God, and all the other leaders of the truth.
movement and all the wonderful saints of God here as we gather in the gathering of champions. Say the Jesus kind of champions. Because they are Philistians champions, but we are not on that side. We are on the Jesus side of champions. Hallelujah. Our God is champion. He reigns forevermore. He reigns forevermore. One more time, our God. Our God is champion.
God, stretch your hand as we pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, may you minister to us tonight. Let the heavens remain open. Release your word by your Holy Spirit. Do a walk in our midst. Lord, have your way in this place. Lagazeke bashazi agataya, zaka parazere bayera, shazaka tara bazia, maga parazere gejaya. In the mighty name of Jesus, sharage rebazia. We pray, O God, let Your kingdom come in this place. Let your will be done in this place. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, wonderful team. And you may be seated in the presence of God may be seated thank you very much I want to thank God for each one of you this evening we welcome those that are watching in different platforms online and those watching on Elevate TV is a blessing that we can connect with you from different parts of the nation or the nations of the earth. To God be the glory. I do believe you know that we are in a revival. We are in a move of God. Things are lining up. And I'm so glad that the things happening among young people in this country particularly in high schools is just special even KSEF has decided to partner with this generation we are now praying for focus to align Bemanzako yota shika kesho so we celebrate what we saw in Moranga the other day, what we saw in Nakuru the other day. It's amazing and God bless the truth movement and Apostle T, all of you guys reaching out to the tent. It's amazing, it's a blessing. We just finished also Embu and Kirinyaga schools came together. We're in a powerful service. I remember that morning telling the Lord, actually two days before that morning, Lord, give me a thousand souls in one service. And I'm grateful we had 5,311 students in the meeting and 1,250 students got saved in one service. How do I know we had a new believer booklet? We just printed 3,000 and I'm sure we now need to order some more because I think we need to print 30,000. Yeah, we need to print 30,000. So that that booklet, I don't have a copy here, but you have seen us use it. It has a decision card at the end so when those who get saved, we encourage them to fill in. And so it's easy for us to know who is giving their life to Christ. Let me reintroduce this little book I have in my hands. It's called Resisting Defilement, Perfecting Holiness, and Securing the Purity of the Church. This little book has been read in many nations of the world. Uh, it's a, a book you can read one evening. It's just 400 shillings. How does your service to God become acceptable 
How does your worship to God also become acceptable? What are the things to avoid? What are the things to do? To ensure that our lives are pleasing to God. So I encourage you to get this book. It will be a blessing to you. Uh, downstairs at the ele Elevation Bookshop. It looks here we elevate stuff. Whether it's Elevate TV or Elevation Bookshop, it will be a blessing. So the matters of purity and holiness are important for this generation. And then number two, the matters of money. Those are the two things you need for now. And here is a book, Restructuring Your Money. I taught in this church some, I think two and a half years ago. Let me see. This is 2020, so it must have been 2019. Uh, two months and a half every Sunday on giving money. Anything you can imagine about money, we taught it. When I finished the messages, I asked a few marketplace people to talk to the church. I got a banker to talk to the church about how do you see your employees handling money and you're in the bank. I got a businessman, how do you see, how do you handle your debts in business? And this businessman said something funny. He said, when a man leaves the house and leaves 500 shillings to the wife for vegetables. Then she decides to buy credit. That's corruption in the house and diversion of funds. So it was so funny, but I've never forgotten. And we talked on every matter you can. And then one day I felt, I'm done with this message. We need to go to other weightier matters. And as if that was not weighty. And that I was here in the house at 6 a.m. for prayer Sunday morning. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me, said in Swahili and English, Watu wako amekubali kutoa. Hey. I, I mean, when you get feedback from the meeting at the diocese of Mount Carmel East, you know, mutashika kesho ama mutashika zai. And Elijah has called for fire, and there is feedback, fire actually comes. Then you are happy with that sacrifice. So after teaching, and the Lord said, I'm happy your people have got it. But he only said, there are a couple of things that hinders them from enjoying the freedom to actually give. And so it's like it took us back to the drawing board. So I sat down there, and I heard in the spirit the phrase, restructuring your money. So I picked a piece of paper and pen. I began to write down what are these things we need to do. Lo and behold, the message started again. That morning, I wrote 25 things that a believer needs to do so that you can freely enjoy giving and receiving. That's what became this book, Restructuring Your Money, 25 Principles for Your Financial Freedom. Instead of buying a book from America on money, why don't you buy the, the, those are dollars. This is Kenya shillings. Tell your neighbor we must appreciate the local products. Are we together? So this is an amazing book. Uh, find it also at the bookshop and you can ensure more just in case we don't have enough down there. Let's have those books. I. I rarely talk about books when I'm preaching, but I felt today those are two precious gifts. Amen. And I'm a practitioner of what I write. Now, let's get to the message because we don't have a lot of time. One time I preached for five hours, so that's when you hear I don't have a lot of time. That's the foundation. That's where I'm coming from. But there are some people who can't listen to a preacher one hour. They don't have capacity. Ask your neighbor how many GBs do you have? Do you have space? Hey. Kaya. Psalms 11 verse 1, 2, 3. Let's start the engine and just run. To God be the glory. I think you can change my mic. Just give me that mic. Psalms 
decided to die the other day or the mics died one one day so if mics can die things can resurrect so the lord in the lord i put my trust in fact even if we now close the service and we just say in the lord Mimi ni ile generation ya zamani tulikuwa tunahubiri have a verse then tunachoma one hour you know okay sorry kuchoma ni kuhubiri all right hiyo <laughs> ni shengi ya zama so we are the kind of people when you read a verse unasikia kusimama hapo kwanza in hey. not outside the lord but in Hey. Kwani mumebarikiwa na hatujasoma. How can you say to my soul flee as a bird to the mountains? If you have put your trust in the Lord, you can't run. You can't run away from stuff that threaten you like we shall find in verse 2 you can run away when you know you have your trust in the lord for look the wicked bend their bow what is a wicked try to do by bending the bow i know this is old technology you have never seen how this kind of battles used to be done with you know you know bow bow however you pronounce it depending whether you went to kiangode or kiangoma secondary you know they make ready their arrow on the string that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart i mean in heart so if there are certain people attacking you and you are not aware How can you survive such demonic onslaught? It is by ensuring you have a proper foundation. Your total trust is in the Lord and in the Lord you are secure so that even those attacks you can't see and they are being skimmed against you they can't make you run. You can't be moved Now if everybody read out loud this verse one to go if the foundations are destroyed what can the rushes do Let me speak briefly the brief of a preacher is interesting but when the foundations are challenged kuna watu hawezi kubarikiwa bila kujua kichwa ya ujumbe bas kichwa ndio hii when the foundations are challenged i know scripture talks about destroyed but here let's talk about challenge because when you establish a firm foundation for your christian life christian walk It doesn't matter what happens nothing can destroy your life. When we began to hear about COVID and the theories about COVID and so forth and there was so much worry. I one afternoon I was listening to the Lord, you know, to know what is this thing going to lead us to. And then I heard this in my spirit that COVID will become like yellow fever where if you're going to Tanzania you just need a yellow fever that yellow card you know and if you don't have the return you so then i told myself because i was told in 1996 by the lord that i've sent you to the nations to set them on fire so i'm an arsonist is a time arson is not a crime boja nitachemka tu unajua naongea pole 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 you know e generation munanipima 
wale wajae kunisikia nikihubiri mnasema huyu ni yule mtu hapa nimekoja boss I'm not from UK where you begin with a climax I mean UK is ukambani nyimbo za huko zina kaya Tunazaga pole pole Tell your neighbor that's how to preach Maana ukianza unaanza kukimbia na watu wataja kujua wewe ni nani sasa utachoka boss kuja pole pole kwanza In one meeting like this you can learn so many things. And then I've lost one person. She has decided I'm not talking very nicely so she's Have mercy on me and stay. But anyway, kama kuna nini ni sawa tu lakini. What was I saying before? Ah? Huh? As an east. So if I've been called to go to the nations and then you need vaccination whether it's real or fake just go for it because the purpose of the season preaching the gospel is far much greater than this thing they require of us because the Bible says you shall not be afraid Look the five things in Mark 16 that will follow those who believe in my name they shall drink deadly things hey, and shall not harm them so when you have a proper foundation whatever is trying to rise up here and there to challenge you well you still can stand now so that scripture is important if the foundations are destroyed i remember speaking a little bit on this message during the life church international remuru in the anniversary something we were doing at the primary school uh what doxa yeah kabod is a old one but doxa mwaka hii inakuja si ndio tutakuwa huko huko glory to god let's consider four words the first word here is foundations sema msingi in high school i was in a technical school uh, those days when our education system was interesting wacha hii ajuzi Uh, so I, I did building and construction technical drawing in form form, form 2 form 3 form 4 I did plumbing I did metalworks and fabrications I know the properties of metal variability durability brittle those kind of stuff so and also you know masonry so issues of laying foundation is something I really appreciate one of the anointings of an apostle is laying foundations okay the second word is this destruction that comes against foundations destruction and then we're going to consider the word the rashias because the rashias don't seem to be scared when foundations are either shaken or are being destroyed then fourthly what are the steps and actions we can take for us to keep advancing regardless of the challenges that we face glory to god what is a foundation it is something upon which another is set when you set something upon another this thing upon which you are setting something is actually foundation something upon which another is set now when it comes to spiritual language or morally foundation means when someone takes a solid stand and someone takes a solid stand now my wife one time preaching to men in this house 
defined the word foundation in terms of when somebody takes a solid stand so I've added that to quote my wife for the not for the first time but among some of those good times because she quotes me a lot so when you find her tell her I quoted her may she live forever I didn't say walk away forever I mean either living in a kuishi kuishi mirem karazogotaya foundation has to do with being decisive in relation to scriptural foundations being decisive ability to take a stand make a decision glory to God when it comes to dealing with human beings and dealing with one another and dealing with our environment words like these are very key being decisive taking a stand words like strength you need to be strong you need to have durability or stability this is very very important something provoked me positively today when i was talking to a man in another city where i was in the morning and said had a powerful wonderful project that is doing and had very good funding from europe very good funding and was raising i think five or six floors and then it reached a moment they evaluated the project and this friends got 99.6 percent in the evaluation in other words they used the money so well the donor was amazingly surprised that there are good people in africa who can do the right thing and not steal nothing but then something else came up the same donor said though you used the money very well we are a little bit concerned before we finish the project we want to see whether you are taking care of special needs special people special gender issues and of course there's somewhere they were going with the language so they wrote back and said what do you mean by this sentence they sent the officer said what we are saying is uh, if we're going to give you more money to finish this project we want to be sure that you will promote lgbtq hey. so the man of god had a choice to make to silently say msijali hii maneno tutaongea because Kenyans know how to talk like that we will look at this matter don't be afraid you know yeah what to kuongea you know if that man of god did not have a spiritual foundation i think now you understand foundations yeah ability to take a stand you know what the man of God said? No, we cannot compromise. And so, we can't. Then on the other side, they say, then we can't send the money. So the project is stalled. They are now waiting on the Lord to open another door. When that door was shut. And these guys from Europe say, in fact, from now, we shall not be financing buildings. We will now be giving money to those who want to help us do civic education to bring this agenda into Africa. That's where we are. By the way, that's where we are right now. That's where we are. That's why I'm asking the question. When the foundations are challenged, Okay, that looks global. That's global. Hiyo ni kubwa iko huko juu. Na kama wewe ni mtu wa pande hiyo unaweza kusema hiyo iko huko juu. Listen. Let's come down to earth. When your faith is challenged at the workplace, there is an opportunity for promotion, but somebody has become funny in the way they have been talking to you of late because they want you to compromise 
for the sake of promotion or getting that job and the way you have been waiting for that job you even gave a sacrifice the other day in the previous revival it looks like god has opened that door if not the devil and then there you are ladies and gentlemen you have a choice to make will you compromise or will you take a stand and say job or no job promotion or no promotion i'm uncompromisingly russia's i cannot sell out i say no to the job because i have the name of jesus to honor and i have a life in god i come here tonight to declare in the mighty name of jesus may this generation stand up to be counted in this time when our own lives and culture modernism new philosophies that have challenged even religious groups in europe and america africa they are the ones that we are the ones that are being looked at right now what shall we do what shall we say but i want to say africa has a radical remnant generation i want to be among the number of those that can never compromise oh hallelujah because god is still el shaddai god is still able to protect to heal to provide to supply if i put my trust in the lord i will not be afraid oh i will tell my soul i cannot run to the mountains because of the challenge before me ladies and gentlemen zagadura zayata psalms 82 verse 5 as the engine has begun running ah, the bible said they do not know nor do they understand they walk about in darkness whatever they are doing that all the foundations of the earth are unstable right now in 2023 i'm telling you the things we have believed over the years are being challenged by strange people is this a boy no it's a girl no it's a boy is a how can you not know whether it's a male or female surely gaifafa all foundations of the earth are unstable hey. what a time we are living in but one great preacher in the last century said this generation of saints is responsible for this generation of sinners Sela. this generation of saints is responsible we need to reach out to our own generation of sinners are we together so it doesn't matter how foundations are being challenged how they are shaking how they are being destroyed hey, there's a prophet called Haggai who said something amazing glory to God and the writer of Hebrews ends up writing something quoting Haggai in Hebrews chapter 12 this one Lagaziga lazima trasoma Hebrews, the Bible says, Oh Lord, verse 25, See that you do not refuse him who speaks, for if they did not escape who refused him who spoke or not, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from he who speaks from heaven. Somebody says, Someone is speaking. The next verse says, What? whose voice then shook the earth but now he says he has promised saying yet once more 
I shake not only the earth but also the heaven. The weather patterns have changed. The heavens, the clouds, they come after two hours they have gone and it has not rained. Everything has shifted, not only on the earth but even in the heavens. The shaking is going on. Oh my God, even farmers who used to look up and they would know it's time to sow. They are no longer sure anymore. Look at the next verse. The Bible says, Now this yet once more indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken. God shakes systems with an intention to remove certain things. Of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Ah, there are some things that cannot be shaken. There are some things, if you have a proper spiritual foundation, you will survive the storms. Oh my God. There are certain things that can never be shaken. And the next verse 20. Uh, this says we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken. I pray that that kingdom, that rulership of God, that dominion of God be in your spirit that there must be something inside of us that cannot be shaken. I pray that this noise cannot shake your life. Political noise, modernism, relativism, all kinds of strange human philosophy can never shake God in your life. For Christ in me, I have hope and the glory of God is inside of me. The one who died on the cross shed his precious blood and took away my sins. Science and technology. Oh my God. Even viruses. Oh my God. Whether they are Chinese or Americanite. Sorry, American. It doesn't matter. Are you listening to me? Nothing created from a lab or created anywhere by any rich or poor man. It doesn't matter. They can never remove the work of Jesus that he did in my life. What Jesus did, oh my God, was permanent. No wonder we see it shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. Zaragayagada. I declare all these other nonsense shall fall by the side but you must lay hold of something lay hold of something it cannot be shaken it cannot be removed hold on something live a life oh my god that you have a stability it doesn't matter what rises where through who kenya for instance political parties come and go even threats come and go yo tashika kesho Magataya Zata. Somebody say foundations. Biblically, the foundation you talk about is God's word. If you have the word. Second Timothy 2 19. <laughs> the Bible says. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands having the seal. In the 90s, news, Leom took fries. Alikuwa naweka njiwe katika shule. Yeah. Ama nafungua siju nini. Arafu pale unawame kimandikuwa. This foundation stone was laid by his excellency on this date blah blah are we together so every foundation has a seal and the seal are words now let's see the foundation of god 
the words written on that foundation. These are the words when you come to read. The Lord knows those who are His. The church doesn't know who are His. <laughs> because we no longer have membership card number. You can be seated 400. But the ones going to heaven are 16%. Only the Lord who knows who slept where, who are where, eating what, when, who did what, where, when, sent what message, did what, where, what. Only the Lord who knows those who are his. Even in this service tonight, God knows who is who. So, first things first, foundations. Tell your neighbor, it looks like you are known by God. You have just encouraged somebody because they are not sure. I'm telling you, you have just encouraged somebody. It looks like you are known by God. Listen, and the sentence is not over. The foundation is another line. Let everyone who names the name of the law depart from iniquity. That's the foundation of God. In other words, if you're going to walk with God, ensure he is known of you, you know him, you have a relationship, you are buddies. You are his, he's yours. Oh my God. When he says, Zarahado, Kama mutu wako pande yako, utajua na vila na kutrit, vila na chukua simu, vila na jibu, vila na behave, for we shall know them by Wacha tujaribu hii tuone kama your neighbor whom you promised that they are known by him 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 says do not be unequally yoked together with who so if all your party people are unbelievers we doubt you. What a fellowship it has righteousness with lawlessness. What communion has light and darkness. And what accord. I like the words. Fellowship, communion, accord. These are strong words. Has Christ with burial. You don't want to have a father-in-law called Berial. Or oh, what part? You tashika leo jioni. Or oh, what part? As a believer. With an unbeliever. The Bible is very clear. What agreement? Hey, look at the words. As the temple of God. With idols. For you are the temple of the holy. Of the living God. And God has said what? I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. God knows those who are his. He knows his people. That's why the next verse says, therefore, come up from among them. Delete the number. Block. If it, this was translated in Kenya Zinema version. Block. Come out. Delete. Block. Delete. And be ye separate. Says the Lord. Do not touch. What is unclean. And I will receive you. Do you know what I said? You know Unapanguza machozi, unamudilia buwana. Nasikikili ochako. He's not receiving you. Because you have moved away from the foundation. Look at the next verse. I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. If you do what? Come out among them. Come out of them. Be separate. I will receive you. Then I will be a father to you. Look at the next verse. I know it's in the next chapter. 
Therefore, you therefore ni yo chapter before. Having these promises, dear beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Hey. Now, you can go read the rest in the evening. Somebody say the foundation is God's word. The foundation second is also righteousness is based on righteousness. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 25 B Proverbs 10 25 says when the whirlwind passes by the wicked is no more. You see when shaking a challenge comes upon certain people whirlwind has come if they are wicked they are no more. There are some people you are with in high school. They are really testifying and representing the song. I want to represent a song. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to the song. We are wasting time here. I'm even not before you don't look at me. Do you remember? <laughs> but today, they are no more. What happened? They couldn't handle their flesh. They got married and their testimony got married. Today they are Mwananji Mutukufu. But they are no longer in the faith. What happened? But the Russians has an everlasting foundation. Let's do this verse in an amplified version. Thank you Lord Jesus. Where were Rudy verse 25? That could confuse. When the world passes, the wicked is normal. But I you you amplified the Akonigani. Sawa. They have an everlasting foundation. I was looking for the uncompromisingly rushes. What type of rushes person? The uncompromising rushes, but the rushes stand firm forever. I think we get the point. Somebody say, I get the point. So the foundation is the rock, Christ, which is immovable. I'm still going to say a couple of things quickly in a few, like seven minutes, but go to Luke chapter 6 and verse 47, 48. Gospel of Luke says, whoever comes to me and hears my sayings and does them, I will show you whom he is like. The person who hears my words and does what I say, I will show you who this person is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the floods, the stream beat vehemently against their life, against that house. Look, and could not shake it. Why? For it was founded on the rock. I want your life to be founded on the rock. When the floods of information, fake news, flood of strange behavior on TikTok, TikTok, I hear, you know, when strange stuff show up, hey, your Christian faith is so built on the rock, you cannot be shaken. When the floods will rise, oh my God, beating upon that house. Now, this is Luke. Matthew puts it a little bit in an interesting way from verse 24 of chapter 7. Uh, the conclusion of their beatitudes to 28. It says, therefore, whoever hears these things of mine and does them, I will liken him to a man who built his house. How and where? On the word of God. Jesus Christ the rock. Glory to God. 
and the rain descended and the floods came and the witch blew and beat on that house it did not fall for it was founded I'm praying this generation will not fall I say you will not fall you will not backslide you will not lose your vision you will not lose your hope you will not run away from church you not run away from the mission field you will not give up your faith your life must be built on this rock and this is how you got to hear the word you got to believe the word then you got to be ready to do act on the word so he that hears these sayings of mine and does them that's a person who is like unto a man who built his house on the rock somebody say hearing and doing But 26 says, <laughs> But everyone who hears these things of mine and does not do them, I will liken him to a foolish man who built his house on the sad. You know, sad is little particles of the rock. Eh? Religion broken down completely. You know, things that are, cannot hold. They, 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 are not, they are dismembered, disconnected, the sad. The rains descended the floods came the wind blew let me tell you rain flood and storms they were created to do what they were created let them keep on blowing and running and descending let the wind do what it was created you cannot keep on casting the wind you wind i command you stop it okay a few times i confess i have stopped the rain a few times wakati nakuja just before otako yani tunachoma kwa kuse tunachoma tunachomerea Yani na mkutano meiva kabisa naona ta mioyo imefunguka magazoka in 5 minutes we are about to make an otako we are about to fish alafu unaona ki cloud ya darkness kimekuja kimehang watu wameanza kubabaika mioyo yao wameanza kutunini tu umbrella so apana nasema mvua hata kama wewe umetoka juu kama kayazaga i lift my faith And do whatever you can do, even if it's lifting your hand like you are stopping the cloud. In the name of I was doing that in Kamukunji. Yeah. Kuskata operation. Na mimi raise the fire. Zaro kataya. Nikasema leo ni leo. Nikanyosha mkono nikasema wapendwa hakutanyesha itangojea mpaka tumalize hii operation hey, i said in the name of jesus now and then uh, unbelievers who are believers before the meeting but as soon as they saw the cloud they became unbelievers what did i say waacha tuone kama hii ni man of god acha tuone leo kama yaani tulikuja na wewe tumeimba nyimbo hapa tumeanzia yesu tumenini tumedeclare umetuonyesha vile unamjua alafu sasa kayazuka hata wimbo wa Tanzania umeimba alafu sasa unaona ka cloud kadogo unaanza kubabaika unasema leo tumeingiliwa na mvua leo hakuna crusade hapana how can you be an unbelieving believer hapa kuna generation inaweza kusimama hata kama kuna storm Oh my god azagato razaya i am personally face storms hey you cannot survive in the city center when i will be preaching the gospel bila kukutana na wangwana even demonically anointed people whose assignment is to finish you come dressed even in collar kayazaga that's why I don't do a physical collar. Young we can done. You can't hack it. Can I have a collar without a calling? Kwa sababu ulipita form 4. Na ukwenda university, ukaenda hiyo shule sababu shoso yako alikuwa reverend atutaki mtoto akae bila kazi unaenda kufundishwa jinsi ya kuombesha sisi hiyo vitu mtashika baadaye boss somebody shout i believe 
because I have a strong foundation my God will not forsake me he will not leave me though the storms may come and though the rain may come I know I have laid my strong foundation look me I'm almost 70 Sasa you keep it at 21 days of prayer and fasting. Mimi siwezi kwenda bila chakula. Hata mwili nakataa. Saa hii I'm using zile siku ni fast siku zile. Saa zile mlikuwa tumbo ya mama yenu ndio tulikuwa tuna fast na kunini. Hiyo hiyo accumulated grace ndio tunakulia saa hii. Wewe pika for the days wachana na wazee. It is your time. Yo lazima mshika saa hii muweze kushika baadaye. You accumulate spiritual bonga points. Maana inafika wakati hawezi omba, ni kupaya, uko kwa safari, mat gari kuacha ama ndege ilishindwa kunini. I was in a city in uh, Dallas 2021. Tumeingia ndege. 2 hours imeshindwa kunini ku take ku take off. Nikasema hizi ndege zangu zilioka wakati wa corona. Asijawaenda mali imeshindwa kunini Can you imagine? And I had left 4 a.m. to catch up the flight, fly to Philadelphia, then fly to Maine, another city up north near Canada. Sasa 2 hours I jatoka. I missed the next flight. So kufika kule the next airport. I stayed kungoja flight baka 7. Jioni, the next one. I was going to a small town. Na matatu ilikuwa moja ile ya juu so ni toka 4 am nilifika 10 at night and the nearest hotel huko na chakula my host forgot to to prepare nini hiyo protocol department haikufanya kazi siku hiyo ama walingojea sana wakaenda kulala nijipange na kesho na choma so kama sina accumulation ya grace ya patience Patience. Ningekuwa na kuoro mpaka na room. Kitanda ya aina gani hii? Nini nini? Na kume si kitanda ni chakula. Tell your neighbor you need a good foundation. Ili siku ile kitaumana you are still calm. Cool. Hata ukiachwa na boyfriend, hawezi hata kuandika kwa Facebook uko kazora ya. You have a foundation. Unasema huyo akienda my God who my trust of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Una quote wale wazee wa zamani hata nitavutia mwingine. Hey! Na hakuna kuzusha. Una relax ni kama bado mko pamoja. Because you have God. You have a strong foundation. Wachana watoto, wachana watoto wa Mungu, waendelee kutukanana hapa na pale na kutuma mafani messages hata kama wameokoka ni kwa sababu these ones are children without no foundation. Siku moja I resigned from a certain job in Karen and I was going into what we were calling full time ministry 19 zamani 27 years ago by the way I used to be an accountant I know when you debit you cannot die before you credit I know that because these of it lazima zibalance kabla hujatoka hapo because you are the only one with the information so they threw a party to let me go oh this man they were giving speech has been a good man one man said something i never thought about they said this man has been working here for three years i've never seen him angry i discovered god alikuwa amefanya kakazi kadogo inside of me hata ukinishtua bado niko sawa yeah foundations All these were throwing tantrums. Watoto wa Mungu. Na Mungu tu lakini. (laughs) 
Somebody say foundations. Hey. Jesus had such a foundation from the Father that even when they were taking him to the cross, the Bible said in Isaiah, as a sheep, he opened not his mouth and went dump to the shearers. He never opened his mouth. What a sure foundation. Never opened his mouth. Nasiju kwa nini hapo inaonekana leo anointing ameingilia hiyo jambo because ile makerere tunasikia kwa hii generation inaonekana tuna kazi nyingi ya Yesu kufanya ndani yetu tutulize mboli tulize mboli If God is on your side people may forsake you people may do all kind of drama but I assure you one thing the Lord will not forsake you he will make another way he will open another door. He will say another word. He will send help to you. He will not disappoint you. He will still find another way to pay the bill. Hey, trust him and let it be known by all that you have a God that you depend upon. I need to close, but I've not even started. Ati nasoma na hivi tu Jesus Look at Isaiah 44 verse 8 Okay you can't look You can only look up Because it's there Do not fear Do not be afraid Have I not told you From that time And declared it You're my witnesses is there a God beside me? Indeed, there is no other rock. I know not one. Nyinyi waimbi, hii ni stanza muzima. Bandara hizo za wandende huko kuruka rukia rukia. Come back to the word, sing the word. This is very rich. Huh? And instead of giving us that, uh, it's no longer CD these days, I don't know what you call it, that album. Instead of giving it a strange name, it should be easy. There is no other rock. Ile maneno unatuandikia, inatuonyesha kama uko na musingi wewe, ama uko hapa yuyu. Is what we call the sisters of the 90s. Wale. Hey. I married one of them. The <laughs> only <laughs> <laughs> original. Ukiona tu wedding card. Huh? Wedding card. Na ile madhasi imeandikwa hapo. Unajua hawa hawana mchezo, wakaona msingi verses like this one. <laughs> Why look at us as if by our own power. And dot, 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 dot. Acts chapter 3. Kaya. Wala wajui Bible wanashi. Bad wana ngojea ni wambia ni gani? Nita wambia. Mara when Peter and John they saw the crippled man at the gate beautiful and they said silver and gold we none but such as I have in the name of Jesus of Nazareth you have to say of Nazareth not of Bungoma hey Mungojea Passover <laughs> After three days Zayadada 
Somebody say Jesus of Nazareth. Then wakanza kuleta shida. Nani aliponya huyu? Nani nisiju what happened? What happened? Peter said, "Why look so intently at us as though by all power." Now, they don't want to say that we have made this man walk. No. As if by own power tumefika hizi kwa harusi. Sasa mmeshika. Those are the original verses for wedding card. Bado kusema tu Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you die, I will die. Your people be my people. Chukua is the original. Why look at us? Our self. We were so mission minded. Eh? Baka vaza itaki kuwe kwa mahali. Unaiweka hapo. Na unaitafutia kazi. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said because of foundations. Hey. Four challenges for this generation. Lack of spiritual knowledge. That's why our foundations are really being challenged. Lack of what? Spiritual knowledge. Lack of spiritual knowledge. Hosea 4:6. Don't go there, but it says, "My people." No, let's read it because there are children here. Hosea 4:6. <laughs> says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. Look, I will also reject you from being priest for me. Because you have forgotten the law of your God, which is the word of God. I have also I also will forget your children. It will even impact the next generation because of lack of proper foundation in having the knowledge. Another challenge is fear of men and general fear in life some young people are just so fearful huh so fearful we say we are flying into tanzania believing god for a successful mission you say no 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 me i fear heights so you want to use boda boda to go to utafika sangapi utakuta tusha salimia zuluhu suluhu tusha msalimia wewe bado uko pale karibu na arusha are we together fear if you are listening to me or you fear fear ya kukula mayai ati sijui tu umetafanya nini you know there are some people who don't eat some kinds of foods because of medical condition i used to be one of them i never used to eat any kind of meat and the devil was very selective My body could only take rabbit meat. Imagine. And chicken. Nothing else. So when my father took me to form 1 1982. That's when I was in form 1. Nikauso ya Yesu nimepewa boss. Mimi karibu ancestor. I used to hear he renews your youth like the eagles <laughs> that scripture works in me so when i was left by my father after traveling the whole day and we arrived at four o'clock and then we were registering last minute because he needed to take another night bus then he left me for one with long shoes in an afasi ya vidole kukua you, you understand <laughs> God has people I'm telling him. Yaani mzee akaona badala kununua kiatu inatoshia kijana na hakuna pesa nyingine. Wewe hii viatu itakuwa kuwa nayo. Then the first meal that night was ugali, sorry, ugali and uh, some cabbage and some meat. So even that still with that I knew I'm going to die in this school or something strange is going to happen. I was born again because I got saved in standard 2 so I was 8 years in salvation at least I should have had some little bonga points 
to deal with this kind of dinners and suppers and food because now nobody to supervise my special meal and it's the first week and women in mono so when do I even know the matron or patron I don't know or the chef so I bowed my head and I remembered that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever and that he does miracles and I said as a form one I will eat this food in the name of Jesus I opened my eyes. Kanzana. Up to tomorrow, I'm still eating meat. I declare in the name of Jesus, if you are here, you don't eat some kind of food. May the same name of Jesus that healed my life bring healing to you. Ambia manza kwa maya itakula. Kwanza ida yoku. 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 Una niningi unapea mnini. Iyo. Zaya zaya. Fear. Number three. Mistrust and lack of faith. Or mistrust or lack of faith. People don't just trust. You don't trust God. You have no faith. You are mistrust. You are not sure that you can make it. You are not sure. Number four perception that mountains have become bigger and bigger because news we are flooded with all manner of news there is a new perception that mountains are becoming bigger and bigger these are the challenges facing this general and there are many but i'm not here to preach problems and challenges what can the russians do let me tell you five things you can do number one just simply be righteous be a follower of god's word <laughs> that's what it means to be righteous from the word right how can you be right god's word is the truth is the rightest right there's no english like that we are allowed to create words god's word is the most right before you greet most reverend God's word is so align your life according to the word of God whatever you do you do according to the word that's what it means to be righteous to be right in accordance with God's word and God's word is Christ so just be righteous number two farm or frame your faith in God firm your faith in God let your life be so full of faith faithful mm, that you wholly depend on God in everything your point of reference is always God Proverbs 3 5 is always enacted in your life every day. The Bible says, Trust in the law with all, not some, all your heart, and lean not on your own congosity, lean not on your own understanding. Where will we may jump? I thought we were in the other verse. Lean not on your own understanding. Are we together? So, every time you're considering a matter, you always refer to God and his word. God is number one in everything. You no longer lean, depend on your own understanding and the little experience you have. But in all your ways, verse 6, acknowledge him in everything. That's how to show that you are framed your faith in God. You have formed your faith in God. So before you say yes to the proposal you consult god and you pray and fast three days the problem is they say let me pray about it okay they are not praying they are going to tell their friends <laughs> the sisters of the 90s 
went to Katoroni for one week to consider the brother before the Lord. Hey. No wonder most of them are still married. Wacha hii yani ya installments. Kuokoka in installments. Somebody say I'm going to frame my faith in God. Did you go to your grandfather's home and find the inscription? Jesus is the head of this house. I said your grandfather. <laughs> Number three, restructure your life and embrace spiritual disciplines. Restructure your life. I'm showing you how to ensure that as a righteous person, there is something we can do with all this LGBT stuff and much more that is coming. We ensure we restructure our life and embrace spiritual disciplines. What are the spiritual disciplines? We do a discipleship class here every Monday. And spiritual disciplines is something Pastor Sunta teaches. Prayer is a spiritual discipline. Reading the word is a spiritual discipline. Meditating on the word of God. How to do meditation. Not TM. Not trans, uh, trans whatever. TM. Meditation. No. The original meditation. Pondering. Seller. Posing, looking intently at the world with an attitude of prayer until something jumps out of that sentence into your spirit. Meditate is a spiritual discipline. We don't just pray and make noise. Oh, 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 oh. We look, oh, 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 oh. Oh, bye bye, God. Thank you. It was a good morning, glory. And then you rush going to work. No. Create time to be silent, especially charismatics. You are too noisy. So many noisy spirits. Shut up, sit down, be quiet, be still. There are certain things you can't hear until you embrace that spiritual discipline called meditation. There are other disciplines like fasting, other disciplines like fellowship with brethren. Some of you are such a hot tomato, potato. Ukingizo kaku group ya watu five, unaiskata. Hey, who are you? Can't you calm down? If people are talking, you are the one who want to conclude the discussion. Shut up, relax, listen. Learn how to fall. It's a spiritual discipline. Am I too much? Am I preaching well? It doesn't matter. Me, I'm bringing you the word. Woji Pangan. I've been here for some time and I know sometimes you don't preach what they want but you must deliver the message. We are not here to give you sermons. You know someone at in any. Will you restructure your life? For instance, when did you read the Bible seriously? When did you last read the Bible? Compare how you've been reading the Bible and let me tell you this is one of the ways to deal with the discipline. One time in the discipleship class, something happened here in the apostolic house. This is what happened. About 120 students came for the discipleship class one evening. Then Pastor Sunta said, So, she said to all the students, uh, place your phones there. Place all your phones there. Then sit down with your Bible. Hey. Ay, cousin, I'm a pan. Ay. Some people can't stay five minutes without looking at their phone. This is a spiritual discipline. Put your phone there, put it on silent. Hey. A few people protested of a feature. Ili <laughs> wanfunzo Where class come you naweza kusoma? Ah, useme kwa ni university nimeachana na hayo. But look, but we are teaching you spiritual disciplines. Read your Bible. I like buying new Bibles every year. So that when I'm reading, so don't look. 
This one is for men conference E. Which is starting tomorrow. We have to show men seven ways to make money. Oh, by the way, there is men conference from tomorrow night. Hey. And Saturday morning from 7, breakfast all the way to 1 p.m. And Sunday at 2. I'm inviting you and I'm serious, okay? Brothers, brothers in the house, brothers. Your weekend is sorted. So I invite you tomorrow evening. And we discovered one of the good things about men conference. Let a woman preach to men. Last time, last year, to Liambiwa, a woman was describing a real man. Hey, we were sitting on the edge to know whether, whether we are fake or whether we are real. Well, tell your neighbor you are invited. Sasa shida ya kutangaza ni kwamba you ladies, you will be online. I know you. Somebody said it's structure. Your life. Number four, pursue God with a passion. Pursue God with a passion. This is what the Russia can do because foundations are being challenged. Pursue God with passion. And I must congratulate you for being here tonight. You're here, you're pushing and pressing and wanting to sit on the stairs. Even where you're sitting is not an official place. Some of you, but you are here. You have a passion. At least you have begun well. I pray for you in the next 10 years. In the next 15 years, in the next 30 years, you will still be pursuing God. I know some of you, your goal is kuonekana na kuona sawa, but uh, in the process, shikiria bwana, shikiria bwana, yule bwana yule zio huyu, shikiria kazoga ya, shikiria. Pursue God with a passion, number four. I mean five, act on your faith in every situation at every opportunity every situation act on your faith a person who has a strong foundation a righteous person acts do you know why the book of acts is called acts of the apostles because the apostles acted they acted on what they heard do you know why we have life churches in kenya because i acted and I got the name on a Thursday evening at 11 at night. In the apartment we used to live with my wife, 19, Gwendazako. So, and I, I had the law and I told her, I don't know why we were not asleep. The church will be called Life Church. I told her it will be called Life Church. And I acted. And as soon as we began the church, then news began in the city. A few people began talking to a few of the members. We began with the 15. What are you doing under David Juma? He is so evangelistic. You look for real pastors. Well, you are lost. They were trying to throw away the few people I had collected. Trying to say I'm not a good preacher. Omo Dioyo. Naleohi. Some of you even don't know your name. But I hear you go to some live church somewhere in Rumuru. Mbako na pita hii, unaenda hiyo. Na ukiwa hapo, utaenda ingina na ivasha. Oh yes. Oh yes. What began as a small seed of 15 people, then they would give offering. Then after the service, anemia passed, na ukini acha hapa, mita raratu hapa, so, hila ka offering doho, tunagawa? Wewe chukua 50, tukua na. Yanda kujipanga. Metoka mbali, I'm telling you. Arabi na shika shila kakio katotoka dogo hivi. Na speaker hii, na wekelea hapa. Tunashuka chini, kweka kwa buti ya gari ya one of the mushirikas. Halikuwa na kagari, apelipata kalon kidogo hivi hivi. Kakushikilia ministry. So tunayeka speaker kwa buti. Kutoka meza na inflow. Ukiona hizo picha. Ati ya kakashila na kashika hivi, tunasukuma. Na isha hali ya mebebo hivi na nani. Ati nandiyo kalikuwa kanafanya live recording last week. Ay, kuna Jehova. Kuna Jehova. I acted by faith. Even you act. Hey. Nima pasi, tuliwambia kuna katripu ka Switzerland. 
pakt. Nione kando shagazuga. That's how nations will open. In the 90s, kulikuwa na philosophers tulikuwa kana nayo. Ilikuwa shenge ya siku hizo. So hata nikitumia muita shika lakini unaweza kushikanisha. Kwa tunasema hakuna kumwaga. Maji akimwagika inaweza ku Isoleki ikimwagika haiwezi when the water pours can you gather it unachukua ka glass ati we ni asha unajaribu kuokota hiyo maji no no in other words when opportunity comes don't waste it ati kuna challenge we can't chokori ya gauss kuna challenge we can't sijui wapi hey and they are looking for missionaries karuza da i am in that ata kama sina fair ndi anda crusade hapa na sijawapea story poleni sana na mimi nakuwa na story kwa hivyo kastoli dakika mwisho ndio waka kama moja i was going to preach in kamwangi mangu gaos na hapo ndani na hapo ndani all the way from maligweni wherever i come from because everybody has a village where they come from so i prayed and fasted locked in a house three days i told somebody take away the keys so that i am not tempted to go out if i die i die that's how we were praying lock the house go away with the keys come and open after four days zayada no seeing the sun or the moon then they came to open the last day i packed my bag everything then i discovered that no money no fare and i've got to go to kamwangi for seven days crusade and ila wa betheri betheri uko siju kama walikuwa nini saa zingine siju kama walikuwa karute or whatever lakini walikuwa na vitamba nyingi lakini walikuwa na crusade sawa amuko shika hiyo mtashika baadaye so sasa mhubiri hana fea ameomba siku ngapi he is loaded by the anointing he has the word hata wata kuna kutafuta iko jesus christ the same yesterday today and for one message hey. and it's no fair i packed my briefcase and i left the estate to walk to the stage on my way to kamwangi by faith acting on faith 19 89 I was on my way to the mission field without fear. Hey. A story within a story. I was in a nyayo. Uh, nyayo bus from Embu town going to Chogoria Gaos for challenge weekend. The fare was 20 bob. I only had 10 shillings. So I sat at the back and I called the conductor. <laughs> Zarazura Bayada. I believed God by the time the conductor reaches where I am the anointing of the holy ghost who caused him to favor me I told him I don't have enough money but I'm going to preach but I have this 10 bob is of 20 He looks at me He said nisawa boss nisawa nisawa can bear the seat na tukanini ile healings ni chomoka huko chogori ya gas I was preaching on third letter of John verse two. I wish above all things gals kaya that you may be in good health hey, and prosper as you are so prosperous. Na sasa tuka tunahubiri tumesimama straight tuka tunasimama in an angle. Kaya zaka. Tell your neighbor act act on the word act do something act do something act. That's what the rushers can do. Back to the original story on my way to Kamwangi there was a band who were ministering with one of the brothers was a bass guitarist was also a banker at case KCB I've mentioned their name although they are not paying us so what will it go bless you you can go as we remain preaching you can go and show other programs the Lord bless you thank you very much so hey then the Holy Spirit spoke to me on my way to the stage he said pass through the bank and greet brother Mogwe simple instruction greet who just do what utaniita nani zaya dada kana kwa reception can i talk to mr mogwe he was a cashier okay just wait he came I was given opportunity how are you my brother praise the lord Those days testimony ni kwa ile original. Unangojea kwanza utestify. 
I'm still born again. I love Jesus. It doesn't matter whether we're in the bank or in the hospital. Jesus is Lord. And this morning as I was reading the Bible, I heard the Holy Ghost say, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is still inside of me. Praise the Lord, my brother. The most high I'm still in Christ Jesus. I'm born again. I love the Lord. And he finished his testimony. Then I told him, God bless you. I'm on my way to Kamwangi for crusade. God bless you. He said, You're going to preach. He said, just hold on. You said you're going to Kayazaga. Wait. Hey. Yeah. 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 wife. Tell her God is so faithful. So, oh, the crusade was amazing. Bananas for Jesus. It was powerful. Act. Just act. When you hear pray, just pray. You hear fast one day, just fast. You hear join that mission, just act. Don't say, oh, Nina Umwana Kichwa. I told you, come on, Kichwa. Ah, uh -uh, let me tell you. Anybody who fell sick, the next thing they did was to join the mission because the woman who had an issue of blood when she had Jesus in town she went to Jesus meeting tell your neighbor from today the best thing to do quickly if a woman had initial blood and she went to Christ with that problem, this is how you will go to the next level as I close. Write, write down these things. I know there are people who don't write anything. God forgive you. God bless you. You are the people we hear. You are so sharp. When the foundations are challenged, how do we still go to the next level? Number one, no compromise. Don't compromise your faith. Don't compromise your manhood, your womanhood. Don't compromise at any level. Be uncompromisingly righteous. Can I hear an amen? That's how to go to the next level. Number two, win souls. Even if you are discouraged, you still can win souls. Share your faith. One time I, uh, Elijah was so scared because of a woman called Jezebel. He killed the prophets of Baal. Then Jezebel wrote an SMS. Tomorrow by this time, Elijah ran away. He's hiding, he's telling God, kill me now. First of all, he, he sent a kunguru. He kind of, he can let a breakfast put up a harp. He can fly. He can let a wilderness. That's what I heard a young preacher say. At the breakfast, I like to go to Gura. He went to Leona Yonyoni. He went to dining hall ya King Ahab. Don't play with young preachers. They can tell you things that are very powerful. At the breakfast, he went to Leona Yonyoni. And I believed it. God is able to bring food. The man is saying, I want to die. Kill me now. He's so discouraged. Then God tells him, Arise and anoint three people. You are so down, but you can anoint. So 
win souls. Don't say, oh, I'm not like Jimmy. I'm not like Pastor T. He knows how to preach first. No, 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 no. He knows science, chemistry. No, no, it's not by all those. It's just by knowing John 3, 16. Win souls. That's how you go to the next level. I have a goal to win one million souls to Christ myself. So far, I don't have record of how many because most of the ones who got saved in the 90s, I took like a record. Some of them now are working in government, they are top. We meet them in a few good places. What department am I in Atomica Sana Squeeze is in Tatja? I stood up and said, Moshma, I want to greet you. I used to preach to you in Moy University. I said, I'm David Juma. He said, Oh, yeah, I remember. Man on fire. So, win souls. Tell your number, win souls. Number three, pray. If you pray, you go to the next level. Number four, Connect with those on the move. Connect with those on the move. God bless you for connecting with Pastor T. He's on the move. Keep connecting with the David Juma kind of people. The RR type. Radical remnants. Don't connect with the people ambao na kushiki anyota. Utapotea. Chana nayo. Connect with those on the move. Kuna mtu ni mechokosa? Number four, five. Activate Psalms chapter one, verse two. Wake up. Psalms one and two. Walk not with, stand not in the path, and sit not with. Next verse. Here in Psalms 20. Verse one. Yeah. Blesses the man who walks not. You must know who you must not walk with. No stands in the paths. You must know where you cannot stand. No seats. You got to identify which seat you cannot sit on. If you're going to go to the next level. Some of the people you're standing with, sitting with, walking with, they're stopping you from going to the next level. And finally, this is the first time I've finished a message. At my notes in Asia. Join the revival and the river of God. Join this revival. When you hear where the ministry is going, be there. The service in the afternoon, be there. The festival of hope, be there. They are teaching Akuru, pay your fare, be there. Moranga, let's be there. Of course, using the formula, which I will teach you next time before Jesus returns. There's a formula in the Bible, how many Sundays can you be absent from church? And how many Sundays should you be in? Or you should be in? That's another message for another time. But join the move of God. I'm now just going to pray. And we give an offering. I will not take any more of your time because time is up. Did you receive anything? I just remind you, find a book you can read. It will be a blessing. Find an opportunity to give. It will be a blessing. Find a conference to attend. That will be a blessing. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to pray a prayer of faith. The prayer that is loaded with the answer when Mary asks, How shall this be? Knowing I know no man. That she was told you shall bear a son. I shall call his name Jesus. She said, How shall that be? in the gospel of Luke in chapter 
I think two is it chapter one, verse 36, 37, yeah, 36. That the spirit of the Lord will overshadow you. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. Chapter one. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you praise. If you are sick, as I pray this simple prayer, let the anointing sit on you and heal you now. You're trusting God for an open door. May the Holy Spirit come upon you and the power of the highest overshadow you. He's still not only the door opener, he's the door. He's not only the way maker, he is the way. If you are believing God for something, stretch your hand to heaven just as a way as you are seated to show God you believe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Miracles are going to happen everywhere. God doesn't need a whole day to do what he must do. He's able to do it now. Now, 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 now. Zopayabadazagoto. I just see his healing fibroids. It's not going to be as painful anymore. God knows that thing, my sister. In the name of Jesus, Kapato Zatayata. Father, I pray now because you are our Father, our God, our Healer, our Savior, Master. You come to the storm, you come to the sea, you come to the waves. You are able to calm down any storm that has risen against anybody. Oh my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, your blood still has power to forgive. Your blood still has power to save. Your blood still has power to protect. I pray in the name of Jesus, every person that is sick, I take authority over that sickness, spirit of infirmity. I command you in the name of Jesus, Eyes open, ears open. Bagato Zagata. Stomach problems. Be healed. Anybody that has a challenge with their health, you have an allergy. Allergy of food. Allergy of eggs. Allergy of meat. Whatever it is, I cast it to the roots. I say, may your body align itself with the food that God has created. Receive your miracle. Bato Zagataya. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now, those who are jobless, you are still struggling. May God open a way. He's a rose gata. May your application be remembered. May you find a place. May you find finances for your capital, for your business. God is still provider. God is still supplier. You came to the house of God. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you need, let God begin to do it for you now. 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 Somebody be healed. Somebody be delivered. Somebody be set free. is very strange but it's exciting it's amazing God is giving you the ministry I just heard the Lord is giving ministry into your hand as a young man young woman God is giving you ministry yes he will manifest you he'll begin to make you visible yeah one message is gonna multiply to another invitation don't push nothing 
let one door open another door by itself receive the ministry that the Lord has kept for you since the foundations of the world I declare you will emerge I say you will emerge act begin move go ye zaro 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 May the anointing of the Holy Ghost that causes us to do ministry. May that anointing come on you. May the presence of God ah, amplify your life, your ministry. Minister of healing. Minister of singing. Minister of preaching. Minister of evangelizing. Minister of pastoring. Minister of teaching. Minister of prophesying. Hey! sin and life if you can have Jesus in your heart by faith trust him to save you forgive you wash you with the blood restore your life and restore your faith God will begin working with you in a new way it's always important when we gather this way to ask for those who are not saved wait before you go please wait this is an important article don't interrupt it Everybody bow your head or close your eyes. I want to ask if you're here, you're not sure of eternal life. If Jesus came tonight, if there was an opportunity where life is over, where would you spend your eternity? Today, when you hear the gospel, do not harden your heart. It is time to tell the Lord, I'm sorry for my sin. I've gone my own way for years. Now I return to the Father and Jesus Christ is the door. So if you're here and you're saying, man of God, pray with me. I want to receive Jesus in my heart. I want to be saved. If you are backslidden, don't stay that way anymore. Say today, I open up my life and I surrender to Jesus. I'll pray for you wherever you are. Lift up your hand if you need that prayer of salvation. To be born again and set free. God bless you. Lift up your hand. I see several hands. Lift it up high. Lift it up high. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Lift up your hand. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the greatest, Pastor Jimmy, this is the greatest thing a young man or young woman can do to give your life to Jesus. You that are lifting up your hand, stand up. Everybody will stay where you are. Just stand up. Those who are lifting up your hand, stand up. Pick your Bible and your bag. Come. Push your way, come and stand with me here so that you don't have to go back there after this prayer because we've come to a close. Let's first of all allow those who've lifted up their hand to come forward to be born again. God bless you. God bless you. Come. Come. Help her. Come. God bless you over there. Come. 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 God bless you. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Come and give your life to Jesus. Come. God bless you. Is there someone else? Yeah, God bless you. Kazora Baya. Everybody stand up now. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, 
It's wonderful to give your life to Christ. It's wonderful to surrender your life to Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What, this is what's going to happen. Uh, Pastor Jimmy, do you have some announcement to make? No challenge. We can know. Uh, so everybody come just next, next Thursday. And everybody knows your church. Where you're going to be on Sunday. God bless you. Thank you. Escort her to give her life to Jesus. God bless you. The only reminder I want to give you is that, brothers, you're welcome to the men conference. It's men and marketplace. So we're going to look into those things. It's going to be a blessing to you. It's tomorrow, 5.30 in the evening. Saturday in the morning at 7 or there to 1 o'clock. No meeting Saturday afternoon. But Sunday afternoon from 2.30, we continue the session. We have Apostle Atemo coming. I will be speaking. Pastor Sunto will be speaking. We have an Apostle, another professor from Regent University in America. God, Dr. Gilbert is going to be here. We're looking forward. Amen. For the sisters, your watchers, through view, Sasa. But you can invite your brothers. Of course, if you come as a lady, we'll not throw you away. We'll just give you two notebooks. So that you can hear double-double. Look at your neighbor say it's time to give offering. As we pray for these wonderful brothers and sisters, we also want to combine to close because of time. Get your offering right now. I know you are getting your phone. So leo mutatuwa jazimu. Amo nutaku fungua. That's great. 657251 is the till number. Alright? You can use that number on the screen. If you want to go and transfer money to the Truth Mentorship Society, you can screenshot that message on the screen so that you have the account number or copy it quickly so that you shall be able to give your offering. So I'm going to pray for the offering and then I'm going to be left praying with these dear ones here to give their life to Christ and we give you a booklet. Amen. And then the rest of you quietly and gently, you will give as you enjoy your evening. Amen. Those of you who are online, there are numbers on the screen on Facebook and YouTube give your offering. Can we pray for the offering now? Heavenly Father, you are the one that gives us money. You are the one who gives us resources. Lord, you are the one who has enriched us. We understand the gospel needs money to move forward. But beyond that, our giving is part of our worship. It's part of our declaration. God is our provider. And we are grateful, Lord. Bless every gift and offering and tithe paid today to the glory of God. Prosper every giver and open new doors of finances and resources. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. So you are free to give. I hope. Do you have an offering back there? Can you wave the offering back over there? Good. There's another one here. Is another offering back over there? Good. And there's another one there. So gently without making noise because we are praying for these wonderful people here. You can enjoy yourself in the presence of God as you go home. Okay, all of you that are here, God bless you. I love you so much. I want to pray for you. Would you want to pray this prayer with me? Just bow your head. Let me have a few ushers here standing with us. Young lady, just bow your head as we pray this prayer of salvation. Pray with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus Christ. Say that. Do it one more time. Say, Dear Lord Jesus Christ. Today I give you my life. I believe with my heart that Jesus Christ, you died, you are buried. On the third day you rose from the dead. I believe with my heart that Jesus Christ, you are the Son of God. And because I believe, 